most heartbreaking scene on Vampire Diaries. We have to talk about that for oh a second. God. Okay, let's talk about it. Um, hey, like, what was it like for you? Were you happy to be back, but like so upset that she, the storyline, like, had to end like that? It was such a double-edged sword because I miss those guys yeah. so much. The cast and the crew and everyone. It was such a nice homecoming for me. Yeah. I mean, it's like you get on set and we're all kind of screaming like little girls to see each other again, and then. They sort of let me know what was happening, and it's bittersweet, really. Although, I never really truly know what's happening on that show, so I don't exactly know what happens next to her, but that particular day was very heartbreaking. So you're saying there still could be some hope that we might see Joe come back? You know, that's a, that's a Julie Pleck question, I think, but um, I am not afraid to tell you that many, many people on the interwebs, as I call it, have pointed out to me that Vampire Blood did go into my mouth before I actually passed away. So, so I don't know. Yeah. But I love seeing you and Matt together back on screen. It was so sweet. I did too. I really love Matt. He's, I mean, we're buddies and we've gotten close and I, I, I said to him I feel actually really blessed because he's such a great partner. You know, he, he gives as much as he gets. Is that, is that the expression? Um, anyway, he just shows up for me all the time, so it's he, he's a good guy to work with. So your other show is coming back in January. Um, give us a, a little tease of season three. Well, season three is all Lionel all day long because she's in charge now. So that's pretty much all I'm allowed to tell you. Or this guy in this beautiful Hugo Boss tux right here will kill me. <laughs> but I am in charge, and um, I'm going to make things difficult for everyone, I, I feel.